Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds and this is WAND Presents The Real Gino. Today we're going to take a look at a sequel 29 years in the making. The original Hocus Pocus has a pretty devoted fan base, so did Hocus Pocus 2 live up to their lofty expectations? Find out as I put a spell on you. So let's do this. Yeah, let's go! I banish thee from Salem! <gasps> Forever! You are right to fear thee. Magic has a way of uniting. Happy 16th birthday, child. Set 29 years after the original movie, the return of the Sanderson sisters is all but a creepy story in the town of Salem. Some believe in them and some don't. Either way, Salem celebrates Halloween like there will never be another one. As the town celebrates, the owner of the Sanderson Sisters Museum, Gilbert, this comic relief right here is in possession of and uses... <laughs> yeah, that. To bring the sisters back to Salem, it's up to a trio of friends to put a stop to them. While I wouldn't call myself a super fan of the first movie, I did enjoy it the only time I saw it 29 years ago. Watching it again, especially with my kiddos, was still really enjoyable. We all had a great time watching it. But were the Sanderson sisters able to put a spell on their fans again? Abracadabra, yes, yes they were. I felt that the humor and story was still pretty clever, just as it was the first time around. The fish out of water story from the first one translates very well since the last time the sisters visited Salem. For example, their time in the Walgreens product placement looking for potions is hilarious. They did have to tone down the hidden adult jokes unlike the first movie, now, I'm not saying that the humor isn't there, it's just not as pronounced this time around. For example, Sarah Sanderson is a lot less, how should I put this, Sarah Sanderson this time around. She's still great though, but what about our new characters? The trio of friends that are our heroes this time around are a lot of fun too. They are having issues with their friendship must come together to stop the sisters. I have to say that their inclusion felt very Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is a really good thing. It means that it feels like they are trying to set up the next generation, but the characters are likable and don't feel forced into the plot. Thankfully, Billy Butcherson returns as well because any movie with Doug Jones in it gets extra credit from me. This guy is just like the coolest guy in real life. Go to a convention and meet him if you get the chance. You won't regret it. Just be ready for huggles. I mean, lots and lots of Dougie hugs. He's a hugger. The bad news is that a good chunk of the original cast doesn't return. That's okay. You see, we get to meet the Sanderson sisters as kids and the witch who gave them the book, and there is an after credit scene, so I think I know where this one's going. I enjoyed Hocus Pocus 2 just as much as the first one. It's a fun and silly good time all the way through. While not everybody is going to get what they wanted out of this, remember after credit scene, if you want to watch Hocus Pocus 2, and really you should watch both of them, you can stream them now on Disney+. That's going to be it for this edition of WAND Presents The Real Gino. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds. Until next time.